So here's the first one, fingerprinting. That's a very old technology that has nothing to do with computers, of course. Uh, it's an extremely useful biometric technology and it has advanced to the point that it's being used um, commercially. So even my laptop here has a, has a scanner, so instead of logging in, typing in my password, I just scan my, um, my finger and it will allow me to go in. Um, these, these gadgets um, are very often used also in public places. So for example, um, in air, airports, um, sometimes you don't even have to talk to a person. You can just scan your passport and uh, scanning your uh, fingerprint. Now from a computer science point of view, the question is, how do we process it? So you get an image of a fingerprint, but the question is, how do you actually compare? So let me uh, show you um, how this can be done. So you see, um, when you scan the image, um, so here is an example of a fingerprint, right? Look at it from the point of view of a computer scientist. How would you write a program to compare it to some other fingerprint? It's not a trivial matter. You cannot just do a bit pattern matching because obviously each of these images is different. So what they do is they extract something called minutiae. And you see this on this, this other slide. Now these are the ridges. So when two lines come together, like in a Y um, shape, or when there is a cul-de-sac in, uh, in, in, the, in the pattern, that's the point that you can record as a separate point with a direction. And so you see the image here, the final image, which is only the minutiae. So these are the points where the various lines cross or intersect. And that's a simple image that can be then compared to some other. So you count how many of these you have and approximately their locations, and you can do pattern matching. Uh, whereas pattern matching on this image of a fingerprint would be probably impossible to do.